So my guardian's main role uh, is to support migrant workers out there. So the app comes in to help in uh, location triangulation and there are other features in the app, for example, remittance. Um, then there's also other features, for example, uh, intercommunication between migrant workers. So the main purpose of the app is to keep you secure by putting you in touch with other people around you and your base station back home in your country. So basically, um, if you're in a situation where you have a problem, but people don't know where you are or they need to come and assist you, you basically install the app, add your family members and your friends and uh, the organization that took you abroad as your uh, circle, and then you press the SOS button and it immediately transmits uh, your location as to where you are. Um, so ever since we launched the app, we have set up uh, an office in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we've set up a rescue shelter and uh, we also have a guest house for the visiting executives. Um, we've also been able to bring back home a couple of people. Uh, we've also been able to assist some who are already in the other country and have chosen to remain uh, because maybe their situation was resolved uh, in country. Um, and then also here in Uganda, we've also been able to establish partnerships with other organizations that support migrant workers, for example, banks, uh, amongst others, yes. At times, things fail. What have been those times where you failed to actually do the help? Um, so there are times when uh, the migrant worker has not said exactly the truth about their situation. So when you arrive here, you actually sometimes find they actually have a criminal case. And now we have to change from rescue to legal representation. For us, as long as we're able to help the migrant worker, uh, we do not care what the, the problem was. We don't even care whether you are legal or illegal there. But there are times when we've tried to help and unfortunately we've not had the means uh, to support the migrant worker. And as such, the burden is still with the family to help their person. What challenges are there in this world? Um, so in the labor export and migrant worker situation, there's a lot of mistrust. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hiding of information. Uh, then there's also the stigma. So uh, most people would like to hear bad things about migrant workers. So what happens is the people with good news hide the good news because they're not very welcome in many circles because bad news sells better. But in actual sense, we have over 250,000 migrant workers who are doing quite well abroad. It's sad for those uh, families that are still struggling who have a problem, and that's why my guardian comes in to help those few have better situation or get out of that country and come back home. What do you envisage my mm -hmm. guardian to do going forward? Would it be scaling up or going to other countries? What would that yeah. Do? So uh, right now we are already in the process of scaling up. Uh, to cover uh, Dubai and uh, basically the Emirates and also to cover Oman and hopefully perhaps uh, in future cover many other countries. We're also expanding what the app does uh, including say remittances and also an online store where you can actually shop for the people back at home right from the app and the delivery is made even when you're still abroad right to Jaja's house for instance.